my unicorn's mane first and I'm going to use a coffee filter. I want to make a rainbow mane so I'm going to do mine in rainbow order. You can use whatever colors you want. You want to try and keep your colors a little bit separate because if you just mix them all and scribble them all together when it gets wet it's more just going to turn out as a brown. I'm going to put my coffee filter on top of a white piece of paper to help with the mess and some of that color will transfer underneath so we'll get an additional print out of it. And I'm going to take some water and a paintbrush and I like to first just kind of tap around on the sides. That will help hold my coffee filter in place. Once I've done that, I'm just going to slowly start adding water to each color. And it's okay if, if they blend, or they'll blend a little bit, but I don't want to just mix them all up and get brown, so I like to clean my brush before I move on to another color. When you're done with the water, set this aside to dry while we work on our unicorn. Your unicorn can be whatever color you want. I'm using a piece of white paper, but I need to turn it into a square, so I'm going to fold this side up to the top, I'll make a point and then what I'll do when I flatten that crease out, that extra paper on the side, that rectangle, I'm just going to trim off. Now that we have our square paper, I'm going to fold it back in half on that same crease line and you can see I have that one point facing down and we're going to make a heart. So while it's folded in half, I'm going to draw a curved line across from side to side and then while my paper is still folded I'm going to cut on that line. I turned my heart so the point is at the top and on the left side of my heart we want to get rid of those rounded sides so I'm just going to fold those in. I do one side, I do the other, and then I will do the space in the middle as well. So that's going to make it a little bit more straight. When you're done, I just flip the heart over again so we don't see those folds. The straighter lines are going to be where the nose goes. I'm going to take my scrap of paper and I'm going to use that to draw the ear and I'll use it to draw the horn as well. Once you have your ear and your horn, drawn out, go ahead and cut those out and glue it to your unicorn. You'll see the ear kind of goes right at that point and then the horn will be a little bit in front of that. You'll see mine are a little bit out of order because I'll have my face in the next one, but don't worry about that. I'll show you that step in a minute. For the inside of the ear, I'm just using some pink markers and then I'm going to use the water method again to kind of turn it into more of a paint. That's up to you. Once I add the water to the inside of the ear, since I already have some pink on my brush, I also use that to kind of give my unicorn some rosy cheeks. I'm going to use a sharpie for the nose. I find that middle point looks like I kind of just made a spiral. And for the eye, it's a side view, so we only see one. I'm doing mine kind of looking downward with some eyelashes. So it looks kind of like a frown. I'll make the line a little thicker. And then I'll add the eyelashes, but that's up to you. And you'll see in the next part with the horn that I forgot, I just added a little bit of yellow marker to that and added water. We're going to check on our coffee filter. You want to make sure it's dry. If it's still wet, you have to wait till it's dry. 
Once it's dry, it'll come right off. And you can see we also have a nice print now underneath, so we could use that for something else later. And we're going to use this for our unicorn's mane. So I'm going to take my filter and fold it in half. Press on your crease. And we're going to remove those corners that are at the top and the bottom. So with my scissors, it's not a lot. I'm just going to make kind of a wavy line cut. And I'll cut a little bit of that off on the top part and a little bit off on the bottom. I'm going to save those scraps, though, because we're still going to use those. On the open side, we're going to cut some wavy fringe. So I'm just making wavy line cuts. Some of our tissue paper might get cut off. That's fine. We'll use those scraps as well. And make sure you're cutting on the open part. We don't want to cut where the crease is. When you're done cutting, open it back up. And I'm just going to do a little bit of glue right by the crease. Be gentle with this since it is a coffee filter. It could rip more easily. And then I will fold it back down. That will help it kind of stay together. I'm going to get my unicorn. Make sure I know where I want my mane to go. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on top of the coffee filter, right on that crease. And then I will put the unicorn paper on top of that and smooth that down. Once that's glued on, if there's any areas you want to trim off, you can do that now with your scissors. And I'm going to take some of those scraps that I had from cutting my coffee filter, and I'm going to use those for kind of the top of my unicorn's mane. So I'll start arranging those and gluing them right around by the ear and by the horn.